Hey guys, Sandy here, and today I am back with my uh, Kill a Kit with Style kit. I've been working with it, so it's kind of all over my desk right now. Um, I don't have a lot of the kit left. What I do have is a lot of layouts created with that kit. Um, so I want to get some more layouts done because I still have a little like stack of photos from Hearst Castle. Um, right now I'm going to scrapbook these two photos. So let's see what I can do. So I'm starting out with these two outdoor photos and I'm going to mat them on some white cardstock. Now I really love the background paper that I have here. So I'm going to not cover up a whole bunch of it. Like I love uh, this chevron kind of blue and gray wood grain. Like I just think it's gorgeous. Um, I think it's a great background paper. I also wish I had a second sheet of it so I could cut it up. Um, into the chevrons, but I don't. I only got one, so there is that. Now I'm flipping through my 6x6 paper pad, which I don't have a lot of papers left, and I'm going to use this to just create a little bit of layers, um, a little bit more interest on the page than just this white cardstock on top of the wood grain. And while I like that look, I want to add um, just a little bit of something else in there. Now because I left my photos in a 4x6 size, that means my white cardstock is more than 6 inches. Um, so this 6x6 paper pad is not going to be able to um, go all the way around the photos to create like a second full mat. Um, which is the reason why I am such a big fan of the 6x8 paper pads. Uh, because I don't have to finagle things and do things like this. So as you can see, I'm using two of the same 6x6 papers and I'm just going to overlap them uh, a bit so that I look like I have a longer sheet of paper. And there will be that little line right there, but honestly guys, I'm not too worried about it. Like it's not going to um, be like a main focal of the page. It's going to be mostly covered up. See, mostly covered up. It's going to be all good. So I've got my um, paper down there. I'm also bringing in kind of like this blue floral paper. And even though this blue floral would never happen uh, in real life, at least I don't think it is. I don't think I've seen uh, blue ferns like that. Um, I'm just going to use it because it looks really great against the paper. I think it looks really great against like that dark khaki colored paper. paper and I think it looks great as well uh, down here on the wood grain. Now these die cuts that came in the kit have a lot of white space around the letters and I think every time I used one of them I trimmed them up a little bit. There was just a little too much white on the die cut for me and that is the great thing um, about these die cuts. Like if you are a fan of lots of white um, around, like white edges, hey, more power to you and slap them down just like they are. Um, but if you felt like me, like there was just a little bit too much on the die cuts, you can trim them out real easily. It's really easy to fussy cut um, these because there's not a whole lot of teeny tiny little pieces. It's just like long curves and cuts. So that was really easily easily done. Now also see up at the top um, as the first part of beautiful, it's kind of like a straight line across there instead of going like in and around the letters. And that bothered me a little bit too. Um, obviously not so much that I didn't get the collection or I didn't get the die cut pack because I knew it would be a simple thing just to go ahead and trim that up. So now that we are going to get that done and there we go. See, much better. At least I think it's much better. Some of you might be thinking, Sandy, why in the world did you cut all that beautiful white paste, uh, white space off of there? Um, but you know what? Wasn't, wasn't um, what I wanted. So I'm using these little foam squares to pop it up just to give it a little bit of dimension on this page. So I am getting down to like the close to the end of my kit. I don't have a whole lot of it left. Um, so I feel like at this time I'm just trying to add a little bit of dimension and a little bit of fun with things other than embellishments. I'm just doing it here with the um, pop dots and the die cut here. There, look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, 
So now I'm looking at this and I'm thinking I need to add some excitement somewhere. Like there needs to be something. Um, so I decide to bring in some gold and I do that with these gold uh, letters or these gold words. And I really wish I could remember um, where these gold words came from. Um, I am a fan of getting rid of packaging uh, in my space because I feel that if I have less packaging, that means I have more room for actual product. Um, so the packaging is uh, long gone, um, like the chipboard part that holds it, that's backing, it's just in its little clear uh, envelope here. So I tuck those back in and I like how this says beautiful vacation. And even though this wasn't truly a vacation, um, it was more of an overnight trip for my birthday, to me that's a vacation. Um, anytime that you can escape uh, your house, um, your immediate world, um, I am down for calling that a vacation. Um, funnily enough, we have a, um, a peer at work who doesn't feel like time off is vacation unless there is um, at least seven days and that's a vacation. Um, but me, I'm like, nope, even an overnight trip, that's for me, That that is a vacation, people. So here I have um, this little floral bit and I'm gonna pop it up on these pop dots because again, I just need some more excitement uh, going on with my embellishing. And look at me being so good and not slinging those uh, backer bits. I'm actually putting them in my little trash can. So this is the good life. And like it truly is. Like if you um, lived at Hearst Castle or you were um, lucky enough to be invited to stay at Hearst Castle, um, when William Hurst was alive, you definitely were living the good life. Like this place was amazingly beautiful. Um, just like every single detail from the ceilings to the floor were gorgeous. Um, even, even the stairs, like the stairs all had fantastic things about them as well. Like it was just amazing. So I'm tucking up some things. I'm building um, a little bit of fun up here at the top. Um, and then down here next to Beautiful Vacation, you saw me take two of the little banner strips and just tuck them underneath the photo. This is something I'm doing uh, right now pretty pretty regularly, I would say. I love taking the little banners and like tucking them under so they dangle um, a little bit. So there's a little bit of a dangly bits <laughs> hanging down. Um, I'm just trying to figure out like with these stickers, like what what ones I'm going to use, what ones I'm going to build up, just to give it a little bit of fun. So I'm definitely embellishing with words, which is one of my um, favorite things to do. I love embellishing with words um, because I feel like embellished uh, layouts with words like can invoke emotions without having a whole lot of journaling or you can start to get those emotions without even reading the journaling. Um, especially if you like want to have hidden journaling, but you still want the feeling of the page to be clear and go out so everyone can see it. And I just feel like that is something that works for me. So I bannerized that little hello, um, and now I'm just deciding to put happy place down here. Maybe is it going to stay? Kind of trying to figure that out. So now that I have uh, fully committed to where the layout is going to be. I am just going to go ahead and add some more adhesive on those little corners that pop up. Now that puffy banner right there actually came from Auburn Lane and there is the Auburn Lane sticker sheet as well. Now I do have um, some of these like kitchen uh, things. Um, so my plan is I have I have a six inch stack of photos from Hearst Castle. And obviously I'm not scrapbooking them all in the traditional scrapbooking sense. I have uh, photo sleeves where I have just put um, the photos in, but I think every so often I might add a couple stickers, maybe a banner, maybe a little label here or there. Um, so once my kit is finished, that is what I'll do. And I am just talking and talking and talking away and the video's over. <laughs> That's it guys. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you again real soon.